I got some great news for you. Oh yeah, what's your news? Our Tesla got 3% faster overnight. What do you mean? It pushed an update, uh -huh. and the update says that it's 3% more powerful. And as you recall, we were just here doing a drag race with a Porsche Cayenne. What was your 0 to 60 time in the Tesla? Yeah, so the fastest ever time I could get in this Model X, which isn't a performance, it's a standard Model X, 4.69. So if we take 3% off of that, it should be 4.55. Let's see if it is. Yeah, and let's show them the update so that they can see how Tesla updates their cars to actually go faster. That is so cool. So Tesla does do over the -air updates, which can improve performance, usability, even add features. So let's see what the release notes are on this. So I go into my little Tesla screen. This is 2019.36.2.1 release notes. Let's see what this update gave us. What's new in this update? Uh, so driving visualization improvements and a bunch of other stuff, but this is the stuff you really care about. Your car's power has been increased by approximately 3%, improving acceleration and performance. Now this is such a cool thing that overnight, your car can in theory get faster, but let's see if that's really true by running at zero to 60. So we're at the same track we ran last time, very similar conditions. I've got my little zero to 60 performance timer here, so we're gonna put it through its paces and see what it can really do. So in order to get the fastest time 0 to 60 in this Model X, you actually have to go into the very low mode on the ride height. So the air suspension is going to drop down, straighten out those CV angles, and now I should have maximum acceleration. Look at that, it's like a cheetah ready to spring on an unsuspecting wildebeest, an electric cheetah. Air conditioning off, I have range mode off, suspension is in the firmest setting. Um, I think we're ready to go, so let me... Scoot forward here, get it all kind of straightened out, reset my performance timer, and we'll see what it can do. So while well, Tommy gets ready to do the 0 to 60 run, first of all, the car didn't get faster. I misspoke. It got quicker. Faster would be a higher top speed. It got quicker, hopefully, and we're going to find out if it indeed did get quicker right now. And secondly, if you guys want to come out here and play on the track, just go to I My Motorsports by clicking on the link below and you can rent the track or you can go motocrossing and you can have as much fun as we have and see how fast your car is from 0 to 60. All right, Tommy, you ready to go? Do we have cameras mounted on the outside? We don't have cameras mounted on the outside. You want a camera mounted on the outside? I don't know. What do the videographers What want? do you guys think? Camera on the outside? Do we have a camera? Do you have one in your pocket? Yep. We got a, com we got a videographer with a camera in his pocket. Look at that. That's the crack team here at TFL. Not only do we correct our mistakes, faster versus quicker, we also give you about as many different camera angles on what is pretty much <laughs> a boring acceleration run. <laughs> so, enjoy. There's not much to launching a Model X. I can't brake torque it. I just have my foot on the brake one time, my foot on the gas the other, and off we go into the horizon. Are we ready? Camera's rolling in three, Two, one, floor. Oh! <laughs> So was that 0.14 seconds faster or 3% 0 to 60? Hard to tell, but Tommy's gonna do another run coming back this way and we'll take the fastest of the two. 4.75, so very good launch, but not quite as fast as the fastest time I've ever gotten out here, which was just a few days ago. Similar weather conditions, a similar state of charge, but that was a 4.69. Now let's go back the other way, see if we can eke any more performance out of this Model X. So. Gonna line it up. Once again, range mode is off, slip start is off, I've got my steering in sport, acceleration in standard, and of course, on this Model X, no ludicrous mode. So in three, two, one, plant it. Mm, 4.73. I'm not quite hitting that 4.55 I should be. Do you know that car weighs 5,400 pounds? That's a lot of mass to get moving in about 4.55 seconds. Or in other words, 0.14 faster than before. That's the question, is it 3% faster? 
gonna give it a, a couple more tries. Okay, why? I'm, well, I'm nowhere near 4.55. What were you at? 4.75. It's actually slower? Well, it's, it's slower. It's about what it was, yeah. No, I mean, it was 4.6. Yeah, but, but 0.06 of a second is nothing. So we haven't seen an increase. No. Let me, let me try it a couple more times. All right, try it one more time. It feels a little quicker right off the bat, but it feels about the same after about 20 miles an hour. So we'll give it one more go here. And in three, two, one, floor it. Yeah. 0.75, so it's extremely consistent, uh, very consistent out here uh, on this track, but it's consistently too slow, unfortunately. So the only reason I can figure it's gotten a little bit slower and not faster is because last time we were doing the 0-60 to 60 run, when we charged it up, we put it all the way to full, which you're not supposed to do unless you're on a road trip because it kills the battery. This time when I charged it up, I had it to its standard 90% mode. So I charged it up to about 290, and by the time we got here, it was down to 250 miles of range. So the battery had a little bit more charge, 300 miles of range last time, compared to 250 this time. That could be the reason. I'm gonna give it one more whirl back here on the way back. See if we can do any better. And in three, two, one, plant it. Oh, good launch. No wheel slippage whatsoever. Ooh, 4.81, that wasn't very good. So 4.75 to about 4.8. Um, that margin of error is about 0.05 each time. Uh, which is, is impressive, but it's not 4.4 like Tesla says, or it's not 4.55 like we should be seeing in the real world, so. There you have it. Well, it's extremely consistent. Yeah. But I can't get it faster than like 4.73, 4.75. Okay, start a small little bit of tires. Let's uh, call it quits. Okay, well, it's probably brakes. Yeah, brakes, yep. tires, batteries. <laughs> Hopefully not batteries. <laughs> So Tommy, our Tesla did not get quicker. No, not really. <laughs> it actually got a little slower. It, it did. Now, it's super consistent, which is impressive. Yeah. Uh, you know, 4.75 almost every time. Yeah. But it's not the fastest time we've ever gotten. Yeah, and the only reason I can think of is because last time we had about 50 miles more worth of charge. Yeah, we were about 290. Today we're about 250. Yeah. So 40-ish miles. Yeah, but you know what? <sighs> I'm going to hold Tesla to... It's claimed zero to 60 of 4.4 seconds. When you go buy a car, right, and you're on their website and you see the Model X dual motor, not the performance, and it says 4.4, and we consistently are not able to get that number, I gotta tell you, it's a little disappointing, and all you Tesla fanboys, just, you know, go on with the hate, but, you know, we've done this for 10 years, we've tested cars consistently, and they usually get close to the manufacturer number, or if we're at not sea level, then they're about a half a second off, but that's understandable. Here, there's no altitude difference. In fact, it might even be faster up here, and yet we're still, you know, way off the number. Well, the interesting thing is the Model 3 actually, when we had it up here at a very similar state of charge, did exactly the claim. So the Model X has been a little bit off. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's uh, putting it nicely. I'm still disappointed, dude. I'm expecting 4.4. Uh, it's okay, I, I, it's fast. I, it's got, a, I got an update saying it's- It's 5,400 pounds, what do you expect? I expect what they no, say. No, it's fast, 4.75. Why would you ever need to go faster? It's impressive. Ah. All right, see you guys next time as always. Tommy. And Roman saying check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, why is it beeping at us all the time? Real world reviews. I know why it's beeping, because it's got the key and it thinks I'm going to go for a drive. Well, not I'm going to go for a drive. At least it opens the door. Look at that. At least it does this. Uh-huh. All right, now it does it. All right, see you guys next time. Ciao.